<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Skyrim. Uh special edition on the microwave oven. We're uh we're in Darkfall Passage. Oh, I heard the jaw crack. Good job, Serona. Yeah, she did great. <laughs> For some reason I'm having paying attention issues. What are we trying to achieve now in this cave? If we're trying to get to the place where Ariel's bow is. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, that's an exit. <laughs> Makes sense. At least now we're going to be able to get through the, the spider web without ickies on the way out. Ickies on the way out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just walk right into it. Did you camp. not think that that was Serana? No, I did. I just didn't care. <laughs> okay. Just try to smack some sense into her. Is that just death? I don't know. That isn't a thing. There aren't just pitfalls in this game. Oh god, where are we gonna get dropped? Hi spider. Hi spiders. Uh oh. Bloop, bloop. I guess we're going this way now. Oh, okay. Oh, jeepers. A whole lot of dicks in this game. Like, for fucking ever ago, it was, uh. <laughs> Brother Bear, and now it's friggin' Ice Age. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now we gotta find our way home, kid. <laughs> I saw that movie in theaters. How many years ago was that? <laughs> 20. <laughs> you were six? I was almost seven. It was in December <laughs> of 20, of year 2000. <gasps> I didn't think that was that old. Yeah. No, well, I mean, you can IMDB it after... Just what we needed. Just, yes, exactly what we needed. Give me the... God damn it. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Anyone else? Anyone else want to give me attitude? Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Those ones are, like, rooted in there so hard that if you try and pick them ah, up... Ah, okay. They, nope. uh, like an evil Roomba over there. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know if Roombas make noise. I don't have a Roomba. Am I going the right way? Were we supposed to dive into that waterfall? Sure. Oh, maybe we're making our way back up. Cure poison. Amethyst. Mushrooms. Nice. Potion. Spider eggs? No, frig off. Why would anyone want to You're not going to take the troll fat and other alchemic materials? Darkfall cave note. Sister, I know that you'd come find me. And she didn't. <laughs> well, no, it will be too late, so... There's still a chance the sister could come by. You better leave that note there. <laughs> I, uh, you never know. She might be a resurrector like... <gasps> You're coming with us. <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is. Is she an old woman? Who knows? Let's ask her. <laughs> Wolfgar Ironstorm's Breton. <laughs> hey, you talk? Alright, cool. That's fine. <laughs> Is necromancy a sin in Skyrim? Who knows? Thank you. Let's not, let's not find out. Say thank you? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Coin purse. What the hell? Oh, satchel. Gold and a lockpick. And vigorous stamina. Best finds ever. It's back here. More bedrolls. At least we found a Breton. This is good. <laughs> Let's go down. Ah, that's a rock trap. I'm not gonna turn around. We just let Serana eat it. Oh my god, that is the slowest trap of all time. Get her! Get her! Her eyes in the darkness actually look really cool. It didn't get her. Yeah, that was a, a very, very ineffective trap. Weird. Heard your jaw again. I don't know why. You animal. Ooh. I like this. Very welcoming. <laughs> yeah. 
You're like, yes, I will come in and get more glowing mushrooms. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Pretty. Get out of my face. Ominous. Ominous. Something's not right. I know something's be not right. Be careful. <laughs> I think we may be in for some trouble. Ooh. My fair purse. I love the mist effect. Is that a troll? It is. I also several parts ago would have ran away shitting my pants. Welcome to the end game, bitch! Are, are troll ass trolls like weaker than frost trolls? Yes. I was hoping we would find a corpse or something. Saying like, sister, I couldn't find you. <laughs> But she's farther in. Exactly. Didn't say she was good at directions. <laughs> you like her doodle? Is that just a square ass rock? Yeah, someone got lazy with her geometry. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have here? A quest objective. Oh, that looks Dwemer. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. Gelibor. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Huh. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. An elf paladin. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh. So many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falma usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. It does. Those twisted creatures you call Falma. I call the betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. Of course. I so need he's you like to the last Bertha, snow elf? My brother. Yeah. Oh. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. Jeez. Do you think they swept into they're the called Falmer because they fell? Kind of like pause. a plan, like the Fallen kind of thing? Maybe. Maybe. Because, like, all the elf races have, like, a genetic name, like Bosmer, Altmir, Altmer, uh, or Orsimer. So the but the snow has always been the Palmer. Palmer, yeah. I Maybe it's because snow falls. Paladins, but we were no match. Man, you're <laughs> making good connections. But now snow everyone calls everyone. the Palmer just those Stormed little the grotesque little dudes that are blind. Yeah. He's Surprised this guy is uh, seen him, but happy to see wrong. us, considering you know he we're leading the, he's in pain or under the group that just forced his people underground. Watches. As though waiting. Yeah, that's the dwarves, the Dwemer. No, Even wasn't it the, the companions? Way no. Would be it's violating the my sacred duty as a knight paladin of Oriel. Force the Falmer underground. An assault on the betrayed. Oh, the I thought that was something to do with Ysgrimor's story. No, he just hated all the elves because <laughs> they were at war. Yes, let me show you. Let me show you. Do it. Is he a uh, light? Like, uh... Mage as well. I want to pray at this. Blessing of Ariel. I've never seen that one. I wonder what it does. Ariel Akatosh. It's all the same. Fortify marksman. With missile, missile weapons. <laughs> so bows and cheese. <laughs> like that shit, dog. Pop! This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long did they have to do that? 
Well, once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Arch Curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, <coughs> let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim on as well. I know how it all sounds. What happened to our subtitles? But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. Don't know. We're not in a conversation the right now. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than this guy sounds caves, very as like discover. But before I send devoted. you on your way, oh, he's a paladin. You need the initiates you True. Are. Okay. Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Ooh, Otherwise, is he like all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe no. journey. No, he's totally fine. Just, we might not... He thinks we're gonna die. He thinks questions. we're definitely gonna totally beat it. it as much. We Who were, were you people? A wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. In a manner of speaking, <laughs> we had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Brutal. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, <coughs> those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. Oh man, that'd be rough. I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Certainly not enough to devolve them into Poison. the sad and twisted beings they've become. They're like Daredevil. <laughs> the yeah, is quite I think they're like Smeagol mixed so with Daredevil. Some time for word of the dwarves' <laughs> offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. So some sort of poison took away their sight and drove them insane. Correct. Kinda, yeah, and we they kinda like devolved into Smeagol looking for me. So our presence remained a secret to the dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. Yes, they swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the inner sanctum. Werther and myself are the only two snow elves that remain. That's his brother? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I kind of want to read his, his stuff. He's probably got yeah, some there is some rich books. story here. Who doesn't? <laughs> books are so old. Nice table. Do we have to go collect the stuff and put it in that, that thing? Is that is that what we're doing? Questions. I expected as much. Can't interact. Can't interact. Yeah, don't those become, uh... Oh, what the... Wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would Excuse be. me? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that supposed to be like a Mario 64 style painting we could jump through? <laughs> I know that feeling. When, when you have to pee outside. Can you collect those? You mean when it's cold outside? You gotta pee. Bad bug. Bad. No shrooms. That's the right biome. Chorus. Hmm. 
<gasps> Where are we in relation to Skyrim, Greg? Nice. Yes. Well, we just finished the uh Ogma Infinium yeah, collection. Yeah, yeah. Where are we in relation to Skyrim? Yeah. Right there. <laughs> we're so, we're still in places. But we'll be going all over this clunge. Gotcha. So we're so we're just underground. Yep, deep underground. Okay. Back. I like their, uh, their their pipes. Coming back to the Mario thing. Waha! <laughs> yep, they okay, just kind of slide out. Yep, we go. <laughs> oh, Charles. In this game, you're a badass dragon on top of the mountain. <gasps> he is! <laughs> Here he go. Do, do. I like these things, because they lead me in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, you know if they're already... <laughs> then you've already been that way. Yeah. That looks like a trap. Can you gonna help me get these? You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop. There's gonna be something popping out of that. Nailed it. Killed it before it spawned. <laughs> Gosh, no strength. Okay. It's like those eggs turn into those pods. Who's there? All right, Mister. I'm resistant to whatever you do. <laughs> It's really gross. Like they, these guys live in like, like that's made out of the flesh of those bugs. Like that chitin. <laughs> I thought chitin was a uh, crustacean, which I guess bugs that, that's are? what they say. Uh, bugs are, uh, or crabs are just sea bugs, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goon lurker! Fuck me out. Worst thing about the Falmer is that they use uh, poison. A lot of poison damage. Yeah, and that shit stacks. That shit stacks and hurts. A lot. Does poison act like kind of independently from the elements in, in a sort? Yeah. It's just like it's kind of like an upgraded fire of sorts? Yeah, except it just directly attacks health and screw you. Have a bad day. Well, so does fire. When you catch fire, it just hurts over time, right? Yeah, it just hurts more yeah. if you're on fire. And d does poison act the same way? It's like once you're poisoned, it just does. Does it like decrease your max health or? No, it just eats away at your health. Gotcha. But the thing is, that you can have multiple poisonous t effects at once. Yeah. Just. Whereas you can only technically catch on fire once. Yeah, you can only be on fire. Once, but more fire damage coming at you doesn't help you. Like for multiple sources, they all have their independent damage source. Yeah. This won't end well for you. Basically, it all messes you up. It does. Because, like, frost damage slows you down, lightning damage. Are there any, uh, are there any other, like, uh, effects like poison that act like frost or electricity that, like, damage your stamina or. Um, um, paralysis, maybe? I, I guess. But paralysis just makes it so you, he got harder and he can't move. <laughs> you have been poisoned. That, uh, oof. Oh god, yeah. And depending on what the poison is, how much the initial damage is, and how long it lasts as well. Yeah. Thank god that wasn't long. Cause you, uh... Oh, sorry. Oh my so, god. Yeah. You auto-regen... You auto regen health. Yes, to a certain extent. But when you're poisoned, you don't. Yeah, it takes away past. It just counts as more damage. Yeah. Because uh, outside of and it blocks your regen though, because it like it continues damaging you, and that's when you don't regen health. Yes. Also, these guys spit poison and bite poison. You know, it's easier to see where they get it all. 
Oh, a night prowler. Rut row. When I start changing their names. That seems like a weird name for a Falmer, considering night and day mean very little to them being cast to the underground forever. Night prowler, yeah. <laughs> like, it's always dark, man. Like, it doesn't matter. Chest? Water breathing? I think that's full of breathing. Yeah, that's why we're always hovering at 299. You look so sad, though. Ugh. Like their eyes just scabbed over. Yeah. The one eye, the one eye actually kind of looked like it was open there and it was just kind of lazy. Poor guys. <laughs> Smart. I don't know if I've, I, I probably said it the last time we encountered the Falmer, but that's my biggest fear of all time, so I definitely don't envy them. Becoming blind. Yeah. No, I, I totally yeah. understand this. It's funny because we were actually watching a thing not too long ago about uh, a girl who's been blind since she was four? Or no, she was born blind. And she was like, I don't understand how you guys see or anything like that. And she's like, it just sounds too foreign to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, cool. Describing Different. sight to the blind. That's a that's like a metaphor, right? Feels like it should be. For uh, like an impossible situation. Or whenever, whenever you're... Uh, like describing something new. Yeah, I'd that's, say that's the metaphor. Is like, how do you describe sight to the blind? It's just like, you can see. <laughs> that's that's it. You can see. Well, I mean, we really can't imagine what it would be to lose one of our senses. These look important. Be careful here. On Dwemer the lovers or uh, Falmer lovers. Oliver Kronk. Wrong lever, Kronk. Holy shit. What lever, Kronk? <gasps> Kitty! Saber cat. How am I now? Vale. Get out of here, Diago. <laughs> Pretty. It's just poison. Oh, we're about to go inside. Oh, yeah, giant mushrooms. This looks cool. <laughs> okay, we're coming up on one of the coolest areas, I think, and honestly, in all of Skyrim. Like, this place is just clean boss. Prettier than Blackreach. Oh, Blackreach can suck six bags of dicks compared to this place. <laughs> It's honestly... Yeah, this excites me. Oh, <gasps> look at that deer. Veiled deer. Should I kill it and take its skin? Yes. <laughs> Lead me, little deer. <laughs> Where do I go? I feel like a Disney princess. <laughs> I was going to say Princess Mononoke, but... Oh, shit! Oh, God, oh, get away! <laughs> Keep the keep it dead. Oh. It's invulnerable. Throw that ass in a circle. Alright, well he's just stuck in reverse. Oh god. They got fucked up. <laughs> Glean blossom. Chase them to their untimely demise. Throw that ass in a circle. Boost him back into existence. He looks so scared. Fixed it. You're welcome. Kitty. Now you rest forever. <laughs> Doing the big sleep. That's cool. It's its own ecosystem down here. There's deal. If there's deer, deal. If there's deer, deer and saber cats and. <laughs> hey. There's one of the ghosts. Blah 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 blah. 
Wait, that's vampires. Welcome, initiate. This is the way shrine of illumination. But they couldn't interact with us. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel? Yeah, they're on a pre-recording. Uh. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. Acha. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Thanks, Ben. Needed that. Now do the pling. Do the thing. Do the pling. Pling. Bahani. So like is he good to pass on now and another will take his place to wait for the next guy? No, or? homeboy's just always gonna be an answering machine. I think we're gonna cut it here. Alright everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. We'll see you next time. Bye!